Hey everyone, welcome to The Restaurant Show, and we have the executive chef, Simon Warren, from the Omni Resort, and um, we've got a lot of great things going on there. As we always, did. last time we were here, we were talking about all the um, wonderful uh, uh, food that you're doing inside Correct. of the beautiful hotel, and now we're going to go outside. That's right. <laughs> now we want to focus a little bit on more of uh, you know our guests and their relaxing experience at the pool and the beach. Yes, and you know you don't have to be a guest to eat at the um, at your wonderful uh, resort there. You can be local That's and, right. uh, or staying someplace else That's um, on the island and you can go to the buoy bar. That's what we're talking about Everybody today. is welcome. I love the buoy. We actually, uh, it's funny because when he came up I said, oh I've had that, you know, but because <laughs> I, I go and I've eaten at the buoy bar, absolutely. Um, and we've actually brought friends with us that are visiting, sure. but they're staying someplace else. It's, but it's a beautiful setting. I it mean, it's by, it's brand new, brand new renovated facility, um, and also the pool area, and you're Gorgeous. looking out over the ocean. And beautiful the, setting. And the food um, matches up very nicely. It also. does. It so does. So what do we, I mean? Obviously, we have here seafood, but then there's also not just seafood, That's right? That's correct. So let's go ahead and go for it. This is so good. <laughs> sure. So uh, we, we just want to highlight a couple of our signature items on the menu right. today. Um, starting with our oyster two ways. As I am spilling everything. <laughs> Don't spill the The oyster sauce. two ways. That's okay. correct. So we have raw on the half shell, and we also have a cornmeal fried oyster oh um, that's served with a palmetto ale cocktail sauce oh, and a this Cajun has... aioli. I yes, love it. So that's kind of our signature cocktail sauce. Um, it's your basic cocktail, but we right. jazz it up a little bit with palmetto ale from Charleston. It's added, so it's local. Yes, ma'am. Um, and now what, what's this delicious? That I'm... is a Cajun aioli. So it's just a uh, like a garlic to mayonnaise. To go with that's correct. the fried. That's correct. That goes with your fried oysters. I love it because um, I'm a dipper. Yep. I mean, I know you should just eat the oyster, just you know, and 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 love it. But I love putting all the stuff on it. <laughs> that, that, that's right, especially the fried. Um, it's preferred with the Cajun aioli, yeah. but you know, feel free to dip it dip in the cocktail. Dip anything. Also. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then next we have you know a staple here in the Low Country is peel and eat shrimp. Of um, course. You know, just simply cooked in a court bouillon, which is a seasoned liquid. Um, we're going to finish that with Old Bay seasoning. Right, right. Um, very typical. Also, our palmetto ale. The palmetto cocktail. cocktail so. Now, yes, chef, for those um, for those viewers out there that are, you know, going to try and do their. Um, peel and eat shrimp on their own. Sure. But how long do you, what size are these? These are 4150, so okay. again, that's just 41 to 50 shrimp per pound. Per pound, okay, um, good. They're gonna take no more than six to eight minutes. Okay, Once so it's boiling, dump the shrimp in. A good sign is to let them float. Once they do that, shock them in an ice bath, which is just 50 percent water and ice. That's that all is, it a, is that is that is part of the difference too, is because I think some people like they dump it out and then they wonder why it's getting rubbery. Yeah, it, it will overcook on you, so you shock it. Um, that stops the cooking process. Perfect. Comes out nice and chilled. They're ready to go. That is a right great away. tip. Because I know a lot of people are, you know, you see the shrimp on sale, or you see it even roadside. Uh, you know, <laughs> wh however you're going to get, or maybe you even went shrimping yourself. But that is a great tip because. I, shocking it definitely yes. different, and the old bay is always so it, good. It, it will, you will end up with a much better product if, if you, you shock that. it. Okay, yes, great, great. Okay, what do we have so next? So now My we're going to move into <laughs> kind of our entrees, or you know, yeah. Um, this is one of our entree salads. This is a shrimp and avocado mm, salad. Um, over, right? So you've got some organic mixed greens, um, fresh cucumber, carrots. Um, Obviously, the uh, sliced avocado, Love also it. poached shrimp. You can also have them grilled if you prefer. Now those are a lot bigger than yes, yeah. those are sixteen twenty. So <laughs> you're moving up into a bigger scale of shrimp. Exactly. Um, fresh tomatoes and alfalfa sprouts. So I love it kind of speaks to light, um, summery time. Yeah. Um, and when yeah. I've had that, sure, it it was it was hot out, but this was perfect. Yes, and yes. it's a actually, nice cool salad. It's light, um, it's especially big when too, the, guys. <laughs> especially when you're out at the beach, swimming yes. in the pool. You yes. don't want something too heavy. Exactly. And we pair that with our in-house made dill vinaigrette. A dill vinaigrette. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. It's wonderful. Now, when I had this, you had a different fish on there too. Do you do that we sometimes do. too? We do. We run features every day, seven days a week. Um, some of them are salad features. We do fish tacos on yes. um, Fridays and Saturdays, oh, which okay. are very popular. There you go. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we're always coming up with uh, new and improved specials. Yeah, absolutely, and because that is one of the good things. So if you have, because I, like I said, I've had the salad before, sure. and then when I saw that they had a fish on the like, I'm going to have that too. <laughs> that's correct. Um, yeah, so a lot of times fantastic. we pair it with grouper. I love it. I love it. Okay, so those of you who are not doing the seafood, <laughs> right? A, a little bit heavier. Um, yeah. But this is our uh, buoy bar burger. Um, Looks so good. It's a nice eight ounce um, custom grind patty. Okay. Um, it's going to be served with applewood smoked bacon, um, cheddar cheese. Um, is preferred, but you can have uh, different selections you if you wanted American provolone right. pepper jack. Right. Um, 
And, and it's served on a brioche bun. Okay, and we wonderful. Are, we are going to top that with a red onion marmalade. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Now, it, what, what is the difference between that and just good old grilled onion? Oh my gosh, that looks so good. So basically what this is, we take red onions and we slice them very thin. Um, we're going to cook those down with sugar and red wine vinegar. Gotcha. Until it's basically a jam. I love it. Okay? I love it. And, I love and so it. you're going to get a nice sweetness, kind of caramelized flavor. Right. It pairs well with the smokiness of the bacon. <gasps> What a so, great way to just to take that step above that's just right. grilled onions. That's right. You know? That's right. Um, and then we also have fried jalapenos. Oh my gosh. So Talk again, to me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So these are fresh jalapenos we cut in house. Oh my gosh. Um, we soak them in milk. Um, and then we dust them in a cornmeal, seasoned mm, cornmeal flour. Mm -hmm. um, fry them fresh to order and top it right on the burger. Now, I if, love it. If you don't want them, if you don't like spiciness, that's quite all right too. They're actually not that bad at all. No, the milk really... kind of takes away mm -hmm. a little bit of that uh, initial you know, zing to it. Um, and with that sweet, that's a that's perfect right. it's balance. That's right, very much. So you're gonna get some sweet, a little bit of spicy, but it will balance out very nicely. Fantastic, that is a great looking burger. And of course, the fresh fruit with it looks beautiful. Absolutely. Especially this time of year with, when it is so yeah. hot up. Yeah, but I think you, you want something to fries, refresh though. yourself. <laughs> they do have really we do. good fries we do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're also open daily, um, Sunday through Thursday, from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. Okay. Uh, we do extend on the weekends till about 8 p.m. to 8:30. And depending is there on music business. out there too? Sometimes? There is. Um, during yeah. the weekends, we have live music Which around is, the pools. How great is that? Around the pool, beautiful food. An even more beautiful um, yeah, setting. It's, it's a fantastic Love setting. Love it. Well, thank you so much for sharing well, all this you. good food. And remember, you guys, you don't have to be a guest there. You can definitely go in the gate and just, just let them know that you're heading to the Bowie Bar at the Omni. And um, you know what? Make sure you check out their staff. is fantastic. The food thank is wonderful, you. too. Thank Absolutely. you so much. You're welcome, Chef. We'll be back in just a moment. Bye-bye.